What's up guys, Joel here back with another City of Tweak. Now today we're going to be talking about OXO 2 for iOS 7. Now this is actually an anticipated tweak by not only me, but a lot of the jailbreak community. And simply, what it is, it's a new way of looking at your multitask switcher here. So, as you probably know, OXO was originally released back in iOS 6. And now it is available on iOS 7. And I'm pretty excited. AC here. It gives it a new look and you'll be able to simply swipe up on a certain application there and then close it out just like that. Of course, that's going to be just like how it was with the regular multitask switcher. But now another thing that you can do is simply pull down and then it'll zoom into that certain application and then you can go about your app or do whatever you were doing on that certain application, which is pretty neat. But there's also more features on here. As you see here, we have the control toggles right up there. And then also down here, I actually have Polis running on here. So I can simply swipe up or down. And now I can activate my controls here, my music controls. So I have my brightness down here. So you can turn that up or down. And then you have your backtrack, your play pause, and your skip track button. And also we have the volume little knob there. So you have all the music controls down here. And then you also have your controls right up here as well. Your regular airplane mode, your Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, your do not disturb, and your rotation lock, and things like that. But there's more here, as you see there. Now I have the airdrop and the airplay uh, buttons right there. And then I can simply swipe up to uh, close that out. But I actually have some settings activated there, and we'll take a look at the settings here in a second. But let me show you some more features on OXO 2. Now something else that's pretty awesome is when you slide up right here on your home screen, you will be able to simply close out all the applications by just pressing one little button and that is close all apps, which is pretty cool. Now taking a look at the settings here, we have multi-center, quick switcher, and hot corners. So we have kill switches on all of these. Now multi-center is simply when you slide up from the middle of the screen and then you activate your multi-switcher here. But if we go ahead and turn that off, if you simply slide from the bottom up, once again, you activate control center. But now going down here, you do see that we have quick switcher. Now what quick switcher is, if you simply slide from the left corner, you will be able to slide through different applications that you have open just like this. So it's very, very smooth and nice. Now if we disable quick switcher, you'll simply enable the multi-center once again. Now I'm gonna go ahead and leave that on. And then down here we have hot corners. So what this is, it allows you to return to the home screen by simply swiping up on the right part of the screen as you see right here. So you simply swipe up from the bottom and then it returns to the home screen. But now going back into the settings, we have advanced options here. So with advanced options, what you'll be able to do is uh, you can turn on and off the minimal display. So I had that turned on right now. So what that basically means is when you have it turned off, it shows the airdrop and the airplay icons right up there. But when you have it on, you do have options to always have it on or if no media is playing, if airplay is undetected or if airdrop is off. So when that is turned on, you see that when I go ahead and swipe from the middle that those toggles are actually off or those buttons right there. But I can still access those by swiping down on the toggles right there and then close them out by simply swiping up. So it's very well designed. I really like that. But now if we go down here, you can go to open to last app. So what that means is when you swipe up, it'll go to the last app that you had open as far as the task which it goes. So if I had, uh, for instance, let's go to my Facebook page. Go ahead and follow me on that if you're not following me yet, JBTech17. But if I swipe up, you see that it goes to the last open page or the last opened app, I should say. Now if we go down here to quick launcher, you can set different settings when no media is playing. You can have it to display. So what that is, is if I go down here, normally the buttons that we have here, the applications, the quick launcher applications, these will be displayed. And you see here, I actually have a tweak that I covered recently called Polis. This is compatible with it because it's from the same developers, A3 tweaks. But I have six different quick launcher apps down here. And that automatically shows when there's no media playing right now. I can put it to do not display. So when I swipe up, I will go to my music controls and my knobs here and I can do auto dismiss. So what that does is uh, in three seconds, it'll actually dismiss it by itself. 
that you see there and then go to my controls. So you have the options to do that here, down here, here at the bottom, you'll be able to change the auto dismiss options from three, five or eight seconds, but I'm going to go ahead and leave it on display. Now, when media is playing, I can do auto dismiss, do not display or display. Now going down here to the bottom, we have unlimited quick switcher. So what that is, is I have it activated right now. So you saw earlier, whenever I went from the bottom left corner, I went all the way over and then I can still scroll through all my opened applications just like that. So that is what unlimited quick switcher is because if you have it off, when you go over to the far right, you can only access the last six applications that you see here. And then going down here, we have invert hot corner. So what that is, is to access the app switcher from the right corner and the home screen from the left corner. So basically if I swipe from the bottom left, it'll go to my home screen. And then if I go from the bottom right, it's going to go ahead and go to multi-center as you see there. Now down here at the disabled applications, you can disable whichever apps you don't want to access uh, OXO to. So for instance, if you're on Twitter, uh, when you have Twitter open, it, you won't be able to access OXO to. So that is if you like, of course, and you can also disable the keyboard or with the keyboard, I should say. Now there is a couple more features for OXO to. Now, let me show you real quick. So right now I'm playing a song and whenever I have that song playing, I'll be able to simply tap on the artist and uh, song name right there at the bottom. And you see there, it pops up with the album artwork, which is pretty neat. Shout out to Lou from Unbox Therapy for featuring me in one of his latest videos that should be up pretty soon. Fanboy rap music video, catch it very soon. That was pretty fun. But anyways, besides the point, uh, I'm going back to OXO2, you see there, if you simply tap on there, you'll be able to activate the album artwork. And if you tap and hold, it'll open up to the application that the music is playing from. Now also, what you can do is, if you do close out all the applications just like this, it doesn't close the app that is playing music at that current moment. So that is pretty cool. Now when you are playing some music, like for instance the music app, or even Spotify, and you go ahead and activate OXO2, you do get a scrubber down here, so you'll be able to scrub through the tracks as well. So you don't lose any controls of your music. So again, you can simply tap and hold on here, and then uh, it'll go to that certain application, or you can just simply tap on it once, and then it'll show the album artwork, which is pretty dope looking. But other than that, guys, that's gonna do it for OXO2. Let me know in the comment section below what you think about this tweak. I think this is probably one of the best tweaks on iOS 7 for sure, without a doubt. I really loved the original OXO. And shout out to A3 Tweaks, which is a collaboration of Sentry and also Quizic. So go ahead and give them a shout on Twitter. Here is their Twitters. Uh, go ahead and follow them and tell them that they did a dope job on OXO 2. But other than that, guys, let me know what you think in the comment section below. As always, hit that thumbs up. If you did like this video, not only helps me, but it supports the channel as well. And if you're not following me yet on any of my social networks like Facebook, Twitter, Google+, or Instagram, all the links will be down below in the description. So go ahead and follow me on those for future updates. And if you feel like being awesome, go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you won't miss any of my future videos. But other than that, guys, that's going to do it for this video. Thanks for watching, and I will catch you all on the next one. All right? Peace.